Future Men's Style Fashion. Who are you and what do you do? Uh, my name is Richard Hounslow Hi. and I compete in the sport of canoe slalom. Right, where are you at the moment in, in regards to your career? Um, probably getting towards the end now. Right. I'm, uh, I'm 31, so right. I'll probably go on for one more Olympic cycle. Okay. Um, I compete in two categories, yep. in the canoe doubles and the kayak single. Right. And I won a silver medal in London last year. Oh, wow, congratulations. Thank you. What's your message to the guys that are sort of coming towards the end of the career? I mean, that one's incredibly young. Yeah. But, you know, what's, what's your message? You know, could you sort of like footballers can go on and on and yeah. on? What's the difference between? I mean, to, we have guys and girls here that are like in their 40s still wow. competing. Yeah. Um, it's just, you know, I think everybody's different. Yeah. Um, some people, they think, okay, enough's enough. I want to yeah. go out there, start a career, start yeah. a family, right. and then move on. Uh, other people, they stay in it. You know, yeah. If they feel financially they're in a secure position, yeah. uh, if, they, if they have a family that are happy with them yeah. going away for six months of the year, it, it's fine. Yeah. But, uh, you know, some people, it doesn't work so well, so they decide to move on. How did you go kind of in the seal at the moment? Did you, did you commit to um, I paddled today, yeah. had a bit of a mistake at the bottom yeah. of my semi-final run, but I have uh, my canoe double tomorrow. Right, uh, and how do you expect that to go? It should go better. Right. Uh, obviously, there was a canoe double that I won the silver medal at the Olympics in, yeah. uh, and um, I compete with David Florence. Right. Uh, he's David Florence. David Florence. He competes in uh, canoe singles as well, right. and together we compete in the canoe doubles. Okay. Uh, he he won a silver medal in Beijing yep. in wow. the canoe singles. Yep. Um, yep. So yeah, so you know we got on pretty well. We compete really well together in the double canoe. Yeah. And uh, talk us through a little bit about the double canoe because like okay. how do you manage that? Um, I mean to be honest, yeah. uh, you know, we only actually started it about four or five years ago. Okay. Um, yeah. But you know we've got a lot of sort of background in, in right. the sport, and yep. we have a lot of uh, knowledge of the water. Right. And after a while, you just know what you know the other person will do. Right. And uh, I mean beforehand, you talk down together about right. what you're going to do. Yep. You, you set a plan, yep. and then once you're going, right. unless it goes disastrously wrong, <laughs> you don't say anything to each other, right. and, and everything goes quite nicely. So is that sort of a becoming okay, sorry, popular? Back off a bit and doing on. Okay, start that one again. Right. Thanks. Sorry. Um, is that becoming popular with someone that's not as good like a single rower? Yeah. Like um, but don't say rowing. <laughs> we, we don't like rowing, but we're doing. Um, so, I mean, no, I mean, originally it used to be, uh, but now it's got uh, much more sort of. Um, I mean, I, I've been fourth at World Championships, I've medaled wow. at World Cup races in my kayak. Yep. So, you know, it was, it, was, it was after the Beijing Olympics. Yep. That myself, David, yep. and a French group, uh, yep. Fabien Lefebvre and Denny Gargou Chenu, yep. they joined together, we joined together, right. and it was a bit of a new thing, really, yep. uh, to compete between two athletes in three categories, yep. uh, known as doubling up. And, um, and yeah, so yeah, sometimes you do get people that don't quite make it doing that, but yep. for us, we're still competing, we're yeah, still yeah. trying to make it, yeah. you know, we're still getting good results. Yeah. Um, and yeah, moving on, and, and, you know, the, obviously the end plan is yeah. to try and medal in uh, the Olympics in all three categories. Wow. Um, last week in London, I was at the Epic Men's Fashion Week interviewing okay. uh, the likes of David Gandhi. Now, he's yeah. someone that's incredibly powerful in getting men in the bodies. And I have to say, I'm looking at your body. <laughs> <Focus>. <laughs> There's an increased pressure, and rightly so, on men to sort of yeah. look their best. Yeah. But, um, you know, of course you're an athlete. But talk us through, you know, how many hours sort of to look this good, and is it crucial to the... Yeah, I, it, it's, a, it's a real funny one, really, because obviously, you know, I mean, <laughs> I'm only human. I, I go out of an evening, you know, with friends and stuff, and uh, you go out, and, and you, you get a few people saying, oh, yeah, like, you know, you're just one of these gym monkeys or something. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we're fortunate as, as athletes that, you know, it's just a byproduct of what we do. You know, right. we, we don't go in the gym to sort of like, you know, to sort of oh, okay. get the beach muscles or anything. <laughs> it's just you go in there to make yourself stronger, to right. be good on the water. Right. Yes. Um, and, you know, and, I mean, we train anywhere between 12 and 15 times a week. Right. Um, you know, and, and how many like in blocks? Or? Yeah, I mean, it'll be like two or three times a day. Right. Uh, how long? Know, uh, varies. You yeah. know, it could be anywhere between an hour to two hours. Right. Um, right and sometimes longer but you know we'll do that six days a week right. have a rest day usually yep. on sunday yep. uh, and then you just repeat right. week after week and eating sort of health wise you know what that sort of thing yeah i mean to be honest when you're actually in uh you know, full swing of heavy training yep. say on, in the off season yep. 
it's just about eating as much as possible. Yeah, uh, that sounds you know, like yeah, well, that's it. You know, but, I mean, you have to be careful. You need to eat a lot of the right things. Right. But on top of that, it's just you know, get the food in, get yeah. the calories in. Right. Uh, you know, the last thing you want to do is get ill and down. And, you know, yeah. You've got to keep getting it in. But then. About a month before a big race, you know, you're a really start, you know, yeah. lowering your portions, yeah. making sure that that's quite often where people go wrong. Yeah. You know, they eat the right thing, yep. but they eat far too much of it. Uh, yeah. uh, it's made in chocolate cake, yep. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, so you know, so you just gotta be careful and it yeah. is very hard when you're so used to eating a lot uh, to then you know, to then cut them back. What's your message to the guy that sits in his Dolce Gabbana underwear on a lounge? sipping a Johnny Walker and can't be bothered to go to the gym. You know what? Yeah. It's getting motivated a bit. You know, why is it crucial to you know, be a I'm, I'm maybe being a bit general here, but, yeah. but girls tend to love guys who yeah, good Yeah, we do, we do. It's uh, all in the biceps, Yes, so right. get yourself out there and, uh, and get yourself a good body. You know, it, it pays off. Are you a fan of Wimbledon by any chance? I am, yes, right. I'm following Wimbledon. Can you, you know, because this is going to go live uh, tonight. Andy Murray, any messages to him? Do you think he will do it tomorrow? I have great confidence in you, Andy. <laughs> yeah. I think, you know... He's mentally there. I think oh, he's absolutely. Mentally. You know, he's been really strong. He's been, he's been brilliant. Uh, you know, he's obviously he's representing Scotland and Britain really, yeah. really well. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I think a turning point for him last year was at the Olympics. Um, yeah. You know, he's absolutely fantastic. He's now made four Grand Slam finals in a row. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. you know, fingers crossed, you know, yeah. this is the one. And, what uh, would, because you sort of been there, you know, with the medal winning, what, what runs through your head before such a big pressure event? Like even, you know, in what you I do. mean, how do you kind of? Yeah, I mean, psych that out. you will often sort of like all these negative thoughts will come in, right? You know, but at the end of the day, you just have to kind of like sit back, take it all in, yeah. And you know, I'm sure he'll be there, he'll, he'll be nervous, he'll be thinking about you know the general public, you know, yeah. his own, you know, he will want to succeed, he will want to win as well. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm sure he'll just sit back and say, you know what, yeah, this is uh, uh, what I've done here is already incredible, Absolutely. you know, and that, that's what people. If you come second, everyone will be like, oh, oh. I oh. know, us Australians but, are terrible Yeah, at that. but it's still, you know, it's still amazing, you know. Yeah, and it's, it's really frustrating, you know, when the press kind of go, oh, he came second, he was so <laughs> close, oh. But, you know, what he's done already, you know, is absolutely amazing. It's inspired, you know, Britain as a country, so it's brilliant. <laughs> well, look, this Surprise is for you. <laughs> you know, honestly, thank you so much and congratulations no and uh, keep on keeping on. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Well, this is brilliant.